Once you've logged in, you'll see a tile for each course or program you currently have active. Each tile will give you some information about your progress and achievements so far. If you're on track, your progress will appear in blue. If you're ahead, you'll see your progress in green. But if you see your progress shown in red, it means you've fallen behind. You'll need to put in some extra time to get caught up. On some tiles, you can also view your course grade. Your course grade takes into account the work you have done so far, as well as your pace. If you're behind, your actual grade will always be lower than your grade on the work you've done so far. So you'll want to put in some extra time and get back on target to bring your actual grade back up. You can click anywhere else on the tile to go to the course map. This is your course map. From here, you can view the entire structure of your course. As you work through the course, you may see alerts appear. For example, if you fall behind, you'll see a message telling you how much work you need to do to catch up. If you have feedback from a teacher, you'll see an alert like this. And if you forget to submit an activity for your teacher to grade, you'll see a reminder like this. On the course map, most activities will show up as grayed out and locked unless your teacher has allowed you to move freely throughout the course. To work on any activity that's unlocked, click the activity title. If you like to see what the student has completed, you can scroll up and you'll notice that there are check marks next to the assignment. The check mark indicates that that student has completed that assignment. You can also see the grade here and the amount of time they spent working on the assignment. So for example, on the quiz on July 23rd, this student received a 100% and they spent 12 minutes and 24 seconds working on that assignment. This is really important so you can know whether your child is actually is skipping through the assignments or if they're really taking their time and putting in an effort when they're working on getting those tasks completed. If I scroll down further, you'll see for this warm-up assignment, the student completed that assignment on, uh, for July 23rd. Again, they're working on the assignment for July 24th. And the other assignments that you see here are other assignments that have not been completed. So July 24th, the student also has a summary assignment they need to complete. Uh, they have another assignment to plan a media presentation on July 24th, and they have a quiz listed as well on July 24th. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see that the date then moves to July 27th. So each day the student has work to complete, you can log into the Edgenuity platform, look and see exactly what that student needs to complete for that day. All assignments for the course are listed here on the course map. So if you scroll all the way down to the end of course, you'll see that there are the unit test, the cumulative exam, um, exam reviews, quizzes, assignments, projects. All of those things are listed here and the date that they need to be completed is listed as well. So you can always know where your child is, what they've completed and what else they have to do for that day. This will help to ensure that they stay on target 